The Australian Olympic Network proudly presents the National Olympic Telethon, brought to you live through 40 stations across Australia. Another round of applause for that lovely piece. Thank you and welcome to the biggest commercial network that has ever been put together in Australia, the National Olympic Network. And over the next 26 hours of this historic telecast, we will be joined by television stations throughout the length and breadth of this country, from the tip of Cape York to the Tasmanian Peninsula, from the gold on the Kalgoorlie fields to the gold on Queensland's beaches. Never before have so many Australians had the opportunity of participating in one television event of this magnitude. And tonight marks... Tonight marks a new beginning for Australian athletes also. The money that we raise in the next 26 hours will provide training, equipment, facilities, clothing, airfares and food, not only for our current Olympians, but for our young athletes of the future. Up until now, to send our athletes to Olympic Games, the Australian Olympic Federation has had to supplement our government's generous contribution with fragmented fundraising activities. But tonight, throughout the Olympic network, Australia is united not only to assist our team for Los Angeles this year, but to build a foundation on which our future Olympians can grow. Now, before we go any further, I must make mention of our magnificent opening number, which you all saw, and I'd like to thank award-winning composer Bruce Rowland, who not only composed, but arranged and conducted the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra and provided us with that wonderful piece of music, and also to choreographer Gillian Fitzgerald. Ladies and gentlemen. We would now like to introduce to Australia some members of our National Olympic Network. Firstly, Channel 9 in Perth. Good evening, Bruce Walker. Good evening, Gordon. Great to be aboard. Just to assure you that the Western Third is up on tippy toes, ready to go. All is set here. We've got all the phone girls waiting. The phones are starting to ring. But we're hoping that uh, Western Australia can do its bit to swell our target over the next 26 hours. Bruce, Western Australia carries the flag in many respects. With your two telethons on both seven and nine each year, you raise collectively from Western Australia one of the highest per dollar head ratios in the world. Yeah, we're very proud of the generous public here in West Australia. They never fail to let us down, and we're uh, quite sure that they won't do so over this uh, next 26 hours either, Gordon. Bruce, thank you very much. We'll be crossing to you tomorrow. Well, well. Now, we'll say hello to the lovely Katrina Lee at Channel 10 Sydney. Good evening, Katrina. Hello, Gordon. Thank you very much. Well, here in Sydney, everything is ready to go. We have 150 phones here, all fully staffed and just waiting for donations. Our panel also is ready to start reading out the, uh, those donations and the names just as soon as they come through. Don't forget, our Sydney telephone number is 806 111. We also have two regional stations here in New South Wales who will be joining us right through the telethon. <laughs> As you can see, there's already some action here. NRN at Coffs Harbour and NEN at Tamworth. Let's now cross to Wayne McGee at NRN Coffs Harbour. You there, Wayne? Yes, thanks very much, Katrina. Hello, Australia. And NRTV is proud to be a part of this big appeal, the first ever, and uh, we're very excited about it and great to be aboard. Our special guests here on the panel, well, Normie Rowe will be here, and of course, Normie's flying down to be with you tomorrow. Thanks for coming, Norm. We have Ron Lawrence, Harriet, Hi. Welcome, Harriet, and also Rhonda Sharrett, Logie winner from Queensland, Chris Wordsworth, and Phil Hawthorne will all be joining us as we uh, proceed to answer telephones and uh, make some uh, wonderful money towards the appeal. 
Thanks, Wayne, very much. Hello and good luck to everyone up there as well. Now, let's say hello and, of course, welcome to our friends at NEN Tamworth. Are you there, Bill Morrison? Thank you, Katrina. Good evening, Australia. A very large contingent of very enthusiastic national television personalities and sporting identities are teaming up with our audience on the mid-north coast, on the northern tablelands and on the northwest slopes and plains of New South Wales to prove to you that it takes a lot more than just a little flood water to stop us from strongly supporting Australia's quest for gold at LA this year. It hasn't dampened our spirits one little bit. Team up Australia, we'll see you shortly. We can see that. Thanks, Bill, very much. Well, it promises to be a terrific night here in Sydney. The phones are already ringing, 806 111. So please, phone through your donation. And now, back to Gordon. Thank you, Katrina. To Melbourne now, David Johnston. Good evening. Good evening, Gordon. Thank you very much. And hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Melbourne. As you can see, we've got the stars of Carson's Law and Prisoner around us, lots of athletes and hundreds of people behind me waiting to answer your phone call and take your donations. 234-0011 is the number for this part of the world. And we'd like to say hello to viewers through a number of stations that will be attached That's to us. That's right. Here. We've got uh, GMV6, SES8 and BTV6. Yes, BCV and GLV and let's, STV. Let's not get our TVs <laughs> mixed up here, David. And all those stations in Tasmania and wherever you are, don't forget to start ringing 23, uh, 234 double 0011. One. And to start things officially down here, look at this cake that one of our viewers sent in just, uh, just right out of the blue. It arrived about 20 minutes ago at our front door. Debbie, would you like to cut the cake to officially <laughs> launch things. This is Debbie Flintoff about to cut the cake and we start things officially here uh, in the Melbourne studio. And while we do that, we'll cross back to you, Gordon. See you later on. Thank you, David Johnston and Joe Pearson in Melbourne. And also now north to Brisbane, Billy J. Smith at TVO. Good evening. Thanks very much, Gordon, and a very good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Sunshine State, and I have some good news for you very early in the piece, Gordon. Our folks from Telecom have been very, very busy, and already they've posted something like $5,450, which is a great start. Well, our main inputs... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our main input to the National Telecom is uh, some spectacular entertainment coming to you from the Gold Coast tomorrow. That's down there at SeaWorld, a magnificent spot. To tell us what's happening tomorrow, down there now, here's Des McWilliam. Thanks, Billy. Here at SeaWorld tonight, we're preparing for a great day's entertainment for you tomorrow. And part of the action will be the SeaWorld Water Ski Show, which has to be the best in Australia. So at the moment, Billy, you can see they're going through their acts, and this is the three-tiered pyramid that you can see now. Fantastic spectacle. more of the action from 7 o'clock tomorrow morning when the lovely Debbie Newsom from Perfect Match will join me live here at SeaWorld by the Sea. Back now to our Brisbane studio. Thanks very much, Des. You might have her tomorrow, but she's here with us now and you'll be seeing her very shortly. As you know, stations throughout the state are participating in this telethon, but uh, some of them are conducting their own affairs and we'd like to introduce, to introduce those to you right now. Firstly, let's take you to the far north of the state. Townsville is the venue. Our host up there is David Fiddler. Thank you very much, Bill, and good evening from Townsville in North Queensland. And already we've had quite a good response from our viewers. And with their help, this will be the biggest fundraising event in the history of television in the North, if not Australia. And through the generosity of North Queenslanders, I'm sure that we will significantly increase the national total raised. And for the purpose of definition, North Queensland runs from Bowen in the south through to Cooktown in the north and west to Charters Towers. Quite a large area indeed. And now from Townsville to Queensland's northernmost tropical city to the studios of FNQ Channel 10 in Cairns and Graham Lever. Thanks very much, David, and good evening to the rest of Australia from Cairns at the top of the Sunshine State. Well, here, like the rest of the nation, we've got telethon fever. Already in the first few minutes of our telethon opening, the phones have been ringing, and we hope that it's going to happen right throughout the evening, and, of course, right throughout tomorrow. In, and there they go now. In the meantime, let's go back to David at our Townsville studios. Thank you very much, Graham, and we've got many Olympic hopefuls in the North, representative of many sports, and it's for them and all their contemporaries right throughout Australia that the Olympic telethon is bound for success. Let's make it a big one. Back now to you in Brisbane, Billy J. Smith. 
Thanks very much, David. And of course, we'll have Olympic stars, both uh, former Olympic stars and present Olympic stars joining us here in Brisbane over the next uh, 26 hours or so. Toowoomba is next on the list. The lovely young lady up there, 40 meet. Here's Debbie Turner. Thanks a lot, Billy, and uh, welcome to the Darling Downs and especially Toowoomba. We've got uh, our telephonists, and tonight with us, Carolyn Barker and Ray Kirby and other personalities joining us throughout the evening. And we want you to ring us up and say hi and especially to pledge some money. The numbers here are 385877, and we're looking for your support up here and uh, look forward to speaking to you. And, of course, the people on the Downs are renowned for their generosity, so we're looking for that. And uh, we were very close to the Commonwealth Games, which are held here, of course, just recently, and uh, they all supported that, so let's support our National Olympics. Back to you, Billy. Good on you, Deb. Now let's go to the northwest of the state, up in the mining town of Mount Isa. Our man on the spot up there, our host is Terry Lees. Australia. This is Terry Lees and Wendy Plant in Mount Isa in northwest Queensland for ITQ TV and we're already taking calls for this telethon. And the telephone number, Wendy? 433335. And we're sure all northwest Queenslanders will support the appeal by giving generously. Please do that. Thanks very much. About the quickest trip we've had around this very big state. That's what we have in store for you up here. Back to you now, Gordon, in the National Studio. And last but not least, to Baz and Pilko down there at Channel 10 Adelaide. Thank you, Gordon, and good evening from Adelaide. I know the question you're all asking nationally is, where do you buy these blazers? You're thinking a 1934 blazer? Believe it or not, this was the blazer we wore at the 1980 opening ceremony in Moscow. So the outfits you saw this morning, the pro-acting creations around Australia, compared to these, look a million dollars. This one we're raffling a little later on. We thought as our contribution to the opening ceremony, why not make it very official for the next 26 hours? And I've invited one of South Australia's star athletes, my mate, Barry Ian, better known as Baz here in Adelaide, to... Uh, to come in, Baz has been running careful of that mate. Well, we're here to catch fire. <laughs> Baz has been running for uh, oh, ten minutes or so, and, so, and we're, we're going to ask you, mate, to, to, to go up the stairs and, yep. uh, and, and light the Olympic light the torch. Light the Olympic flame, right? Uh, Is this kind of hard foundation? Oh yeah, well they're they're one of the beneficiaries. Right, right. All right, up you go, Cobber. Oh, Haven't got a light before. Oh, never mind. Okay, Gordon, we thought this is about as official as you can get. It's for the lighting is. of the flame for the next twenty-six hours as we raise millions of dollars. Go, mate. Oh, great. <laughs> oh. Shut up, mate. We're going to send a few trio calls. Perhaps now is not the time. We're delighted because it never worked in rehearsal. Gordon, we look forward to your next cross, hopefully within the next hour or so. From Adelaide, Baz and Pilko, back to you, Gordon. Thank you very much.